little bit. Veterans Day has been especially meaningful today for an Edmund family whose son was deployed overseas to serve in Afghanistan. Their Marine is serving in a battalion which lost more than two dozen fellow service members just in the last month. Our Jacqueline Sitt tells us how the parents are coping with their son's deployment. Jacqueline? Amanda, this Edmund family tells me this is the second time their son has been deployed overseas and as parents it's hard not to worry. The yellow ribbon remembers the veterans. It also honors the military men and women who are far away from home. In this Edmund home... It's hard being a parent of someone overseas, uh, especially when there's no contact with that person for 30, 40 days at a time. That person is Corporal Aaron Little, and there's not a minute his parents doesn't think about their youngest son. Faith is all they can count on. God willing, he'll come home and or I'll get a phone call, or we'll get a phone call here in a couple of weeks anyway saying he's okay. So, we, you know, we don't know. They're in a pretty tough area. They've lost a lot of kids. Just in the last month, their son's battalion has lost 29 Marines in Afghanistan. It's unsettling news for a mother who struggles with the what-ifs. It's hard to not ponder on that all day. It's hard to not think, are you going to get that phone call, or is somebody going to show up at your door? And that's somebody these parents hope will show up at their door is their 24-year-old with his classic smirk, and soon. He will not quit. He will not lay down. He will he will fight to the end, and that's just, that's just how we raised him. It's easy to see the smile on their faces. Just the thought of their hero couldn't make these Edmund parents any prouder on this Veterans Day. To me, it... it it just represents the freedoms that we have. I mean, when, we, when you have a son overseas that's, that's fighting for my ability to walk outside and, and just view the beauty that God has made without having to worry about it, it's pretty awesome. Corporal Little is expected to return home in April 2011, and his parents say they can't wait to give their son a big hug and take him to his res favorite restaurant, Ted's. Back to you. We appreciate his service indeed, Jacqueline. Thank you. Corporal Little was also deployed to Iraq for his first tour. This is his second deployment. Only 